Hello everyone. Welcome to the next day of our figure. So we are continuing our sculpture. It should look something like this. The plaster should be covered all the way around. And we are now ready to paint some details into our figure. The first thing you will get is a palette that has on it a skin peachish color. You're going to have a little bit of brown and a little bit of black. From there, I will come around and see what additional colors you may like because you may want a different color shirt or pants. Um, whatever it is, you're going to let me know. Maybe you're doing a monster and you're not doing skin at all. Uh, if that's the case, you're just going to have to hang in there and I will get to you. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, use this is an acrylic brush because it's got stronger bristles than the regular brushes it doesn't flop around so much this is acrylic paint acrylic paint is uh, a very good sturdy plastic based paint that uh, does not lend itself to coming out of clothes very well um, you're just going to paint on the parts where you think should be skin which would be the face and obviously we know that we're probably going to put hair on it but we're probably going to make it the face a little bit bigger just so that we can be sure we cover all the areas this paint dries pretty quickly but uh, not super quickly and it doesn't come out of clothes very well so uh, the only thing I can tell you though is if you do notice you get it on your clothes if you try to wash it out right away there's a good chance that will all come out but most likely um, if you forget about it you don't realize you got paint on your clothes you try to get it out later it's pretty well permanent um, so I'm just going to do the face area so that's where the face and the neck is um, I'm probably going to go around the neck a little bit because I don't know um, how about some ears too let's give them some ears so I'm going to do a little area there. Now this is just a first coat. Um, obviously he's going to have facial features, uh, but I'm not going to worry about that until I get his skin color on. So we're basically putting skins on our person on this uh, first day of working with our figure. Um, I'm probably going to give him some hands unless I want him wearing winter gloves, which it kind of looks like he's wearing anyway, but I'm going to give him hands anyway. I'm going to, uh, later on, I'm going to paint a uh, separation between his fingers so that I can see that. And if you want him wearing short sleeves, you're going to paint a little bit higher um, on the hand. If you want him three-quarter sleeves, you're going to go midway down the calf. If you want him wearing a tank top, you can do it like that. Um, you can put on any clothes you want on him. Uh, but it definitely has to be some type of clothes. We are not doing... Uh, models that are all skin colored that is uh, not school appropriate and I do not want anybody to even think that that would be acceptable in any way shape or form I'm just going to get that out of the way right now we're going to paint skin on where we think for skin now if he has bare f if your figure has bare feet on you can paint the feet mine's wearing boots so I'm not going to paint that um, and like I said, this is a good starting point to paint from because you don't have all the colors because I don't know what colors everybody wants ahead of time to have the palette set out. So uh, your palette will just have the skin color. And like I said, I gave you a little bit of black and a little bit of brown. So the reason I gave you black and brown is number one, if you didn't like the skin color that I picked out, um, this is like a peachish color. Maybe you might say, okay, um, that's really nice, but I my skin's a little bit darker than that. Or maybe you want to do make your the figure that you're making a little bit darker, then that's totally fine. What you can do then at that point is that's what the brown is for. Or you could use it for the hair if you want to give brown hair anyway. Um, and so I've got... All right, so let's say that that's the hands. So let's say I didn't like that color, and I say, well, you, you know what, that's a little bit too light. My skin color is a little bit darker than that. What you're going to do is you can take the little stick that you have, and you can mix it in, and you can make it darker. You don't have to, but if you want, you may. It's up to you. So I've got like a, a little bit of a 
darker tone. Everybody's skin color is slightly different. And like I said, I'm just doing just a very generalized peachish uh, skin color. Okay, so whatever color you want, you can use that, you can use that, whatever colors you need, and I will be getting you uh, more colors as well. Um, the next thing you might do is after you have the skin on where you want it, and I'm going to give him, I guess, kind of longer sleeve shirt. And you know what, you might say, okay, you know what, I might give him like a v-neck shirt, so I might need to go down to here so you can see a little bit more of his neck. So you can go down a little bit lower. Sometimes it's better to go down a little bit lower because this paint you can paint over really easily. This is a good paint. Um, and it, like I said, it does dry really quickly. Then you can use the, the black to do some of the detail work that you might want to do. Like I said, uh, he's going to have fingers, so I might just take the, the, the thin brush that I have and I'm going to just draw some fingers on. Well, it's kind of hard to do. I didn't really do a nice job making this, but just making kind of cartoony. So his hand is kind of bunched up in almost a fist. I give him a little finger now. This is not very good, but kind of get the idea. And then here's his thumb. And if you ever want to switch colors, you can use the water, wash it out. You do want to dry off the brush though. And it's pretty important to dry off the brush uh, before you paint. You don't want this paint to be too wet. And if the paint's too wet, it's not going to come out as a nice thick coating that we want. All right, so that's an idea for uh, the hand. I got some fingers on there. Now, one, two, three. Uh, I guess I'll give them the fourth finger here. All right, that's the third. And then here's the fourth. And there's the thumb on that side. Okay. Um, the other thing you might want to do is you might want to give him a face. So you can paint on the face. Your eyes are in the middle of your head. So I'm drawing the eyebrows slightly lower than middle. And I'll just give him a little. You can paint on the face any way you want. I'm just going to give him a little face like that. All right, oh, did you see me do that? I don't know if I was on there, okay. And then you can use this brush. Let's say I want to do the hair. I don't want to make it skin color. I could make him a bald man. I could give him a beard. Uh, whatever you want. It is your person. You can make him up any way you want. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to wash out the brush, and I'm going to dry it off as well with the towel. And let's say I want to give him brown hair. Um, and even if you do want yarn on the hair t next week, you will be able to get yarn on the hair. Uh, but you do want to paint it first because otherwise he's going to have uh, bald spots that are going to be kind of whitish. You don't really want to have white spots on the head. You won't, it'll show up much better if you just paint the whole head brown. If you're giving him brown hair, that is. So you're going to paint it on, paint everything on. You're going to paint the shirt on. Um, get done as much as you can today. Um, and by the time this video stops, you should have everything in front of you because I am probably somewhere in the room passing everything out as you are watching this video. It's kind of nice that I can double myself up like that, right? Cool. You good? So there you go. You're going to paint person, paint your face. Um, and like I said, you're going to tell me what colors you want for a shirt, his pants, his feet, whatever.